action. Hey, hey bike rockers, this is Lee coming at you from Oakland, California. Going to assemble the ice cream accessory onto the Fender Blender Pro. So I'm gonna start by loosening the wheel. You may have to replace your wheel with one that comes with this disc brake module, disc brake pulley. Slip that around the pulley. Snug that in the dropouts, and so the chain is is fairly taut. And then I'm looking down the center line of the frame to get the wheel uh, centered relative to the top tube. I'm going to make these finger tight. I'm going to spin the cranks once, just make sure the chain's not binding. And now I'm going to tighten both nuts. They don't have to be crazy tight. Yeah, check the chain tension again. It's good, it's not, it's not binding. Still a little bit of slack in there. Now we're gonna put the, the canister bin on. It slides on and, and clamps onto the crossbar so it's going to slide over here what I'm finding though is that it's kind of getting stuck and the reason it's getting stuck is that the bike is lower uh, this bar is lower than the, than the uh, than this bin so if I lift it up the bike up I can slide it on but now when I put it back down it means that the whole bike's weight is resting on this bin which is not good so I'm going to adjust the leveling foot correct for that. We'll loosen the, loosen the nut, unscrew the foot a little bit, get a rough adjustment. This bin should slide right on. Still getting jammed. Loosen the foot a little bit more. It's just like leveling your refrigerator. Oh yeah, okay. And now I'm gonna tighten the nut again so the foot doesn't unscrew completely on me. So there's a little bit of space now underneath the bin and the, the foot of the fender blender is on the ground. Now that we've got these these clamping bolt wing nut pairs, put that on there. Tighten it down. It doesn't need to be crazy tight. It'll, it'll uh, latch around and won't allow the bin to come off. Check that. Yeah, real solid. Not going to come away from the fender blender. Now we're going to mount the bucket to the bin. So orient it uh, so the slot, the slotted side is towards the bike. 
do this with or without a canister in here. Um, should just kind of fall in and, and wedge. Then loop the pulley over the axle. too close to the tire just move the bucket around you can just wiggle the bucket to and fro to get to sit upright and and give clearance to all the moving parts then we're going to take the spreader it fits around the fork blade same wing nut mechanism just to hold it on there I'm gonna do it real loose at first so it can still slide then put the notched end over the axle and then I'll push the whole bar down and that'll push the bucket away from the bike and tension the belt and hold everything relative to each other. So I'm just going to push it down to about there. I'm not pushing real hard but and then tighten it up here and now it won't slide up again. So uh, then give it a give it a test pedal. Now we're ready to make ice cream. Thank you.